Weekly white tail way. What's up, fellas? Just made a video on fletching some arrows. Got this cool little ring light. It's pretty sweet. It's fun to play around with. But yeah, we're fletching arrows tonight. It is now the end of bow season, and buck down, two bucks down this year, two does down this year. Uh, shot deer in a d different state this year. So archery season's done. I need to start back this weekly white tail way series. So I think tomorrow plan is to go to the farm, do a little bit of stuff there. Um, fun fact, I have not had a single buck bigger than a two and a half year old on camera since season, which is not good. And I got one buck that was shot in the back leg, which I think he's dead by now. We're gonna go look for him tomorrow. Uh, his name's Uni, I'll show a pop up picture for him, for you guys. He is a sick deer and I think he's frozen solid because I haven't seen him in a couple weeks and it's been really cold here and there's no food anywhere. So I think he's dead. Hopefully we find him tomorrow. We'll see. Um, we're also gonna go check out some land for shed hunting. Um, it's gonna be January 14th tomorrow, so not a lot of bucks have dropped yet around me, it seems like. But also, I only got two cameras out and one of them's dead, so. I really don't know, we're gonna go peek around though and try to find, hopefully a shed. I think it'd be awesome to find a shed this early, but don't think we will, we're just gonna kinda scope it out. But the main thing is gonna be going to the farm and do a little update on the food plots too, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to fletch arrows, also go watch a video that I'm going to be posting, hopefully before this one, so. Yeah, I'm fletching, fletching arrows, making them all fruity and they're kind of zesty looking, you know. They got like pink on them, but I don't know. I thought they'd look cool for target practice. Don't worry, my hunting arrows will be black and green, but yeah. It's just a little weekly white tail way update for you. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, and I'm going to finish editing and finish fletching some arrows. So see you tomorrow morning. Well, it's January 14th today. We're finally out at the farm. Uh, first chore is to change a Tacticam battery. Uh, we're not getting too much more deer in here now that the corn's pretty much ate, but we're gonna switch batteries in it. I still got my payment going, so I might as well, might as well keep the batteries loaded. So I'm gonna switch batteries in this and then we'll kind of mosey around the food plots and follow some trails. So we got pretty much corn. There's a big sexy strip right here going down the middle of the food plot and then corn on the either side. Um, the big sexy was pretty much ate up by, I'd say November, like everything gone, bulbs including. So there hasn't been much moseying around right here. You can see a pretty good trail. So it looks like everything and anything's using this trail. It's a pretty solid trail. And that goes out and that kind of exits on this side opposite so it kind of goes through here when I shot my buck I was up in that saddle and the buck was standing right there and then he ran out that way and died back in there yeah we're gonna go hop around some food plots and just see if there's anything left of them or any trails going through them I doubt it just because most of my food plots are pretty small so we're gonna go over there and we'll go check it out so I'm in my little woods plot I got a tree stand right there it's a, just a little tiny plot opening here in the swamp. You can see lowland here, Cameron's walking over there. But it's pretty lowland swamp. Got Ruby. Look at that. The tree fell out of the camera on. Camera seems to be fine. Antenna's a little bent. What the heck? The way I designed this food plot, it's a big horseshoe. It kind of wraps around over there and comes back. And I got my stand in the middle so I can shoot either side. It's actually a pretty sweet setup. Um, it didn't get planted this year because I was just so busy with other plots and whatever, but someone's happy to be out here. But yeah, it's definitely gonna get planted this year and it's gonna be a killer setup between both food plots, so. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go to the power line plot now and check out that one. So here's the power line plot. Not a single track in it besides my dogs. Actually, there's a set of tracks right here that aren't my dogs. But, <clears throat> I gotta catch my breath. The snow is so deep. So I think the reason there's not a lot of tracks in here is the winter I got eight to very short. And they're not gonna be digging up all this snow and they have better, better sources of food elsewhere. So, yeah, I mean, it'll be fine in the spring. This is gonna green up nice. Be a little blanket for them for the fawns and stuff. But as of right now, they're pretty much Check it off the map. Woo. 
first spot's a bust. Um, and a combination that we're early to. Big? Holy, Holy dude! Kill! Kill! Holy, <laughs> Holy sh dude! Oh my god! Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god! Kevin! 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 Oh. Hold up, dude. Holy sh! I gotta face him, Jake. Cam, pick it up. Pick it up, bro. <laughs> Holy shoot, dude. Holy f Cam done, dude. Look at that brow tie. Dude. We gotta find the other side. Look at his bed's like right there. Look at, show the bottom of it. Oh my gosh. Fresh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy shoot, dude. My god. Okay, we're gonna take some pictures. Holy, holy, damn it. <laughs>